What's going on guys? Zing with Artie Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green, the Egg Lock Run. In the last episode, we um, battled things, and today we're going to be making our way through Victory Road, and as you can probably tell, we're going to decide by five popular requests. I decided to look at my bag. I decided to bring along Oscar, who is now level 30, his proper level from Hatch, and um, everyone's like, oh my god, Hardy, you need an Ice Typer, Lance is just going to like punch you in the face. So... I decided, okay, fine, I'll bring along a freaking ice type. And I assume he will learn ice beam at some point. Right now he has um, headbutt, rest, surf, and a roar beam. So we'll have to wait and find out. But in the meantime, normally I probably like wouldn't take on that many of these trainers. But um, considering I or that many of these wild Pokemon, but I could I, Oscar needs a bunch of levels, and he should be able to take on at least like the Geodudes and his Zubats without any problem. I don't think I'll be able to take on like the Matchups and stuff. So. I'm I'm gonna already Onyxes our uh, level 46 freaking Onyx holy poop I I I literally have like nothing to use against this thing Sipper when in doubt go with a Heracross Sandstorm is a little scary I probably could just ran away but I had a weird feeling Onyx would be faster than us and just give us a ton of trouble so I figured it was probably better to just try and kill this thing and then take the XP and ruin his life yay that's always a fun thing to do. Ruining someone's life, it's a lot of fun. So, uh, Victory Road, the Kanto Victory Road is not really difficult at all, thankfully. It's one of the easier. Oh, actually, the, a lot of the E4s are, a lot of the Victory Roads aren't that difficult. I've always had trouble with the Unova Victory Roads, actually. To, to just share a little story. Wow, I'm actually surprised I didn't one shot that Zubat. I didn't even like, realize it first, but that's really pathetic. We're going to have to actually try doing something decent because we are being nothing but horrible sad pathetic trainers right now yay now I am a little worried about the Elite Four the, or, not the Elite Four I'm a little worried about Victory Road because this place has some freaking tough trainers like this one right here since we have the EXP share on there's no need to lead with Oscar so let's lead with um Sipper well uh, Walken is good I think actually I can't remember if this is one is fire types or normal types so let's go with Nikestro. By the way, uh, a lot of you told me to put the hard rock on the Kestro, so I took that advice, took it off my Onyx, and put it on the Kestro, so now his rock type moves are better. Oh, okay, yeah, I probably should have gone with Heracross. That figures, but oh my god, awesome, we missed Rock Slide, yes! So freaking excited! Why would I want to kill- Wow. Okay, that's cool. That's- Wow, are you- Really? 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 Oh. Oh, good job, Nicastro. Good freaking job, man. We should have gone with Heracross. Ugh. Why am I even using you? You're such a disappoint. Okay, this is why I'm using you. I knew she had fire type trainers. How did we miss that three times now? It's just a 10% chance of missing it. What the heck? How could you better not miss it again? You better. Okay, darn right you're hitting it this time. That is. Wow, a 10% chance to miss that move. And we miss it three out of four times. That is just beyond disappointing. Pokemon, Satoshi Chijiri, this is your fault. I know you're about, I am really nervous about this Nine Tails. With my lower defense, I'm gonna use my brains and I'm gonna switch into Moon. So, okay, you're just gonna safeguard anyways, but it is time for the first time since we got it to try out Earthquake. Shaking the ground, shaking the ground, shaking the ground. Dead. Yay. Oh, good. Nicastro, you leveled up. That's so freaking amazing. I hope you die. I don't. Okay, I take it back. I hope Nicastro doesn't die. Do I have dig on anybody? Because I just realized Moon was like my dig whore, and now he doesn't have dig anymore. So that may cause some problems. Because I actually, I think I bought some escape ropes. So. Um, I, God dang, I don't, I don't know what to think right now. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, screw the trainer, screw the, oh, we gotta get freaking Dragon Claw. We gotta get Dragon Claw. Okay, let's go. Dragon Claw is the top one. Over to the west is a rare candy, but I, I don't even, it's so hard to tell like what rare candies I'm allowed to have and what I'm not, so I'm not even bothering with rare candies. And we got Dragon Claw, which is gonna be amazing. I will probably wait till after we get through Victory Road. Normally, I would like give that to Nicastro if this is like fourth gen, but considering this is third gen and Dragon Claw is special and Nicastro is horrible special attack, I'm not going to give it to him. I may 
depending on what my team looks like, I may give it to like Sceptile, because Sceptile could definitely take advantage of it. I, Sceptile, surprisingly, is pretty awesome special attack. So, I mean, when I look at Sceptile, I see more of like a physical attacker in what, well, big part, because like, I think his signature move in third generation was Leaf Blade. I don't think anybody else learned it. Did they? I don't think so. Um, but, so like seeing that, I was like, oh, well, he's obviously a physical attacker. But no, actually, for the most part, I believe Sceptile is more of a special attacker. So he could really take advantage of dragon type moves in this generation. So, if we freaking miss, if we miss, if we miss, you darn right, Nikestro, you're hitting that thing. And you get a crit. Yeah, you better start making up for those three retarded losses. Okay, yeah, I'm switching out now. Oh. So I only have three Pokemon that are weak to water. Starting to see why a Sceptile would be useful. Um, Sipper, I guess. I don't know. Wow, that's a horrible freaking weakness. Um, I mean, I don't have anybody that resists water. Actually, well, I do have, uh, I do have Seal, but I obviously can't use Seal right now, and Seal would have nothing that's strong against War Turtle, so it's really would it be risky going into Seal because. It, well, I, I'm not going into Seal right now. Wait, does he evolve at 32? I think he's about to evolve, which... God dang it. Are you serious? Okay, fine. Going to Jimmy with the predicted fire type so we can get our flash fire boost. Oh, you're so predictable. And we will use our boosted flames to attack your weakened flames. And then we're just going to flame each other and it's just going to get so hot in this place. I got to ask you though, Charmeleon, to take a second here if you don't mind me taking a second of your time. Why in the world are you not a Charizard? I mean, really, you were level 42, you could have been at Charizard six levels ago, nobody's questioning you, everybody would have just accepted it if you're like, hey bro, I want to be a Charizard, but no, instead you're just here, you're being a Charmeleon, and I don't, it doesn't make sense, I'm not trying to call you out or anything, but okay, there's the Charizard, never mind, I'll take it back, I'm sorry, goodbye, I kind of hope Oscar doesn't level up again, because if he does evolve at 32, and he probably... I don't know, it seems like every time I go past the level they evolve, they actually like learn something when they evolve, and then I'm sad, because I'm like afraid that maybe he learns like, maybe he learns like Ice Beam, uh, what, oh, that's right, he uses Smoke Screen, Pro maybe he learns like Ice Beam at 32, I doubt he learns Ice Beam before, don't you do it, okay, good, he didn't, please evolve right now, that would be wonderful, wow, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna guess maybe 36 or 40? I should know this, and at the same time, it's like, I really don't care, so, uh, I do need to do something here, I need to use this, oh, I need to turn to the rock and get into battle with the Geo, dude, guess what, I'm not even gonna battle you, waste of skin, or uh, waste of rock, I guess, I don't, I don't know what you are, I don't know what Geo dudes are, they're just, it, it doesn't make sense, they're just weird little creatures, okay, Sand Shoes, I know what you are, you are kind of deadly, so, I will attack you. Sand Slash, I'm sorry, that is not a Sand True. Before everyone starts going crazy and deciding to correct me, I'm aware that's not a Sand True. Thank you. That is a Sand Slash, who for some reason has Poison Sting, and he's gonna... Why do you still have Poison Sting? Shouldn't that be replaced by something else at this level? Is your move pool that bad that you still have Poison Sting at level 46? Because I feel very bad for you if that's true. I really do. I, I just kind of want to go over there and I want to pat you on your quills and just say, it's okay, buddy. Somebody out there will love you. Somebody out there will feed you TMs because you deserve attention. You are a good Pokemon. Obviously, that's not going to be me because if I touch you, I'll probably die. And I don't wish to die at the moment, at least not by a Sand Slash. If I was to die by anything like a uh, piano falling on me, I guess that would be cool. I don't know why that reminded me of it, but recently, for the first time ever, I ended up, I watched, um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, which is a su well, it's not super old, it's like 1989, but my mom always, like, banned me from watching that movie when I was younger. Apparently, she thought it was inappropriate, which, looking back now, I could kind of see how it was inappropriate for a kid, but the fact that she's like, no, you can't even watch it when I was, like, 13, that might have been going a little far, but, um... So, for the first time, I decided to watch it the, um, I think like two days or so ago, and, god, it was so weird, like, seeing Daffy Duck and Donald Duck in the same scene at the same time, you know, Disney and Warner Brothers together, it's just like, oh my god, this is, this is just beyond normal, and then, when, uh, they had the scene with Bugs Bunny and 
Mick and Mickey Mouse at the same time. It was just like, wow, this is so weird. I don't, I don't like seeing this because it's like voodoo. But Mickey Mouse, it, it's really seemed like Mickey Mouse is like out of character in that film. And I was, when I was super surprised that that was like a Disney film because that's like the most anti-Disney film ever made. I mean, they just if you've never seen Who Framed Roger Rabbit, go and watch it and then ask yourself, huh, I wonder if this is made by Disney because it is so not Disney. I mean, it has language in it. It has guns in it. I mean, to be fair, they had like someone get shot and he just like fell over, like no blood or anything. He's just like, oh, I'm dead, bye. So <laughs> that's how you die. If you're going to die, go out dramatically by just falling over. So, um... But it was, I, I really got to kind of praise the movie because for its time, it was really kind of cutting edge, you know, mixing animation and, um, why am I using Shadow Ball? You are not a stupid psychic type. You know, mixing animation and, um, real life footage together at the, you know, back then when like technology wasn't at its peak like it is now. Oh, you're evolving. Yay. That was really quite impressive. I kind of, kind of wonder if like, um. Space Jam took inspiration from um, Roger Rabbit because Space Jam did the same thing but only like six years later or so. I don't know. So I would be interested to find that out. But either way, if you guys ever seen that movie, what are your thoughts on it? I thought it was uh, sheer cold. Okay, so that's what you ordered. I knew you'd learn a move when you leveled up. And that's a move I actually don't want because I, I can't gamble on 30% chance accuracy. And if the Pokemon's higher level to me, then it it doesn't even matter. So, I what I remember about this guy over here is for some reason I remember he has a Mr. Mime, and this Mr. Mime likes to mess with me big time. So, we're gonna put Jimmy up front because Jimmy has the anti-psychic type moves, and we're gonna give Jimmy a super potion because Jimmy's amazing, and we're gonna go kill this Mr. Mime. And I think this is just like a, another weather TM. I think it's probably like Ice Beam or something. So, it's probably not anything like super excited uh, to, like be like oh my god I need to get it so bad I just need to be it and I need to be it its friend and I need it to teach everybody because we're just gonna be the best friends ever no but it, it's gonna be like hail and I'm never gonna use it oh my god it's actually hail wow okay mind blown I'm so freaking awesome so uh, at the end of this cave we will have the opportunity to teach double-edged some to somebody most likely I will not be taking them up on that offer so um, I can't remember if, I think I need to go this way. I don't, or do, I think taking a stone there unblocks this path. So yeah, we're taking a stone there. I should just put on a repel because these wild Pokemon are getting kind of annoying and they're not really helping that much. Do I have, I have 10 max repels. That is happy face time. What? Why? Oh, <laughs> I was like, it's not working. No, Hardy, you're just very stupid. I'm not stupid. Don't be mean to me. So I think that I know this rock is useful for something. I don't remember what. Wow. Okay. Completely freaking ignore my repel. Ah. I would just run away from you, and I will put someone strong up front. Arc nine. Jeez, bro. Get your act together. I'm gonna have so much grinding I need to do. I'm gonna hate this game so much when I'm done with it. But actually, I may not have to do that much because we will be taking on the Sevi Islands beforehand. Do not go on that ladder. That is a trap to make you hate your life. Overheat. Oh, yeah. I might give that to Arcanine and replace Ember and then just use him as, like, last resort. I have this super powerful fire type move. I I don't know. I think, actually, I think this one's a water type trainer. Oh, crap. Okay, yeah. Th I think this is, like, the fire type one, except she starts off with normal type and then goes to water types. So, I'm kind of scared. Because I'll have to switch. Yep, I knew it. God dang it. Ugh. Okay. Um. Um. Uh. I just. I fear Jimmy switching in. What level is this thing? 42. Okay, she can't sheer cold me. And I hope I can take one hit and then hyper potion. Aurora beam. Okay, that's. Actually, wow, that did nothing but just to be safe because I. I need to smart. That's a full restore. I don't want to use that. I need to start being a smart hardy. I'm going to heal up and then we can brick break this thing. And then hopefully just maybe destroy them all with Heracross. That would be nice. Not have too much trouble, please. Jigglypuff. Okay, just bring another freaking normal type out. As long as it doesn't sing. 
we won't have any problems, okay? Okay. And what do you got? Persian. Wow, okay, I was wrong. You're just a normal type trainer with a random water type. My apologies for me mistaken for you actually being tough. I won't make that mistake. Oh my god, Persian gave us 666 XP. Persian is the devil. Persian's the devil. Oh, I remember this training now. I, re I, remember, I, I remember this trainer now because when I did my fire red nuzlocke, um, I was like, oh my god, this would be the perfect trainer to harvest XP off of. And that's when I learned you can't actually use the Versus Seeker inside of Cave. And then I was sad. So, <laughs> uh, I want to take on these trainers. I'm pretty sure this one is grass type. So, I'm going to... I think she has, like, Weeping Bell. I am Bell Sprout and a um, Victory Bell. I don't know why. I, I think she also has, like, Paris and Parasect. So, why do I remember this trainer? <laughs> that is a fantastic question. I'm, like, really freaked out as to why I remember this specific trainer. And I want to think the other one has water types, so I might be wrong. I, what does the other one have? I don't know. doesn't matter. We're going to fight him anyways, and we're going to murder him. And it's going to be a load of fun, because murdering people is like how I like to spend my free time. I like to make sure everybody understands that I want them dead. And I just want to be able to go wherever I want, because then I could just go into the candy store and take whatever food I want. I can go into Walmart and take whatever TVs I want. I can go into whatever bathroom I want, I can use whatever toilet I want, I can go into McDonald's whenever I want and take whatever I want. So yeah, that's my new strategy. Kill everybody on the planet and then become fat. Half of that's already succeeded. So I knew it! I knew you had water types, you- uh, God dang it. I didn't even think. Uh, okay, Wilkin, I trust you with this for some reason, I'm trusting you with- Oh my god, I shouldn't have trusted you with this! Uh, oh, actually, okay, never mind. That did nothing. <laughs> you were so pathetic, Kingler. Why does Kingler even get mud shot? Where does the mud come from? I, I, you know what? I okay. I was actually I was gonna make a really um dirty joke, but I realized one. It, well, <laughs> it probably would have been called racist. It probably would have been very disturbing, and it's probably for the greater good if I never even think about this joke again. So. I am not a racist person. I love people of all races. Um, in third grade, my best friend was a black fellow. Uh, I mean, African American fellow or um, a colored. Fe he was. Um, in third grade, my best friend had uh, had a large penis. He was that kind of person. Oh God, I should really just stop talking, shouldn't I? I don't. I. I don't know. I'm just a. Oh freaking poo I just realized how low that's a max potion I don't want that I just realized how low you are on HP Wilkin oh crap I got so distracted with thinking about my third grade best friend's penis that I almost I, I promise I've never seen his um, penis um, I have no experience with a penis of any males or females. I don't want to be sexist. I'm sure there are girls out there who firmly believe they do, in fact, have a penis in their pants. So, uh, their own penis, anyways. So, I've just, I'm just saying, I think it's fully possible that I maybe I should stop talking because this is becoming extremely awkward. Okay, where does this one go? I think this one. Where does this one go? Is a fantastic question. But did, did my repel wear off or what the heck? I don't. I think my repel wore off and I just haven't been paying attention. But the. What? How is it still going? How have I not taken like 200 and. Okay. Okay, so this one goes there and then that lowers this. Oh my god, are you serious? How freaking strong are the Onyxes in this place? You know what, Onyx? You wanna face me? You wanna face me, Onyx? You wanna. You wanna just. Wow. It lived. The Onyx lived! You know what you get for that? You get Surf. Why do you have Surf again? I don't know why he has Surf. That's a really good question now that I'm thinking about it. But Okay, let's put the strength in. We'll push these boulders. We'll push these balls, which were about the size of the balls of that kid in third grade. Okay, why do I keep talking about this? I think I'm just maybe extremely nervous about the topic, and now I'm just trying to make it less awkward, because if I keep talking about it to try to make it seem less awkward, then maybe the problem will just go away but it obviously doesn't work that way and maybe now I should just like put duct tape over my mouth and just mumble for the rest of this video like I am the pyro from Team Fortress 2.
Uh, oh, crap, no, I thought they were ones you had to talk to. I was just going to stand in front of them and be like, Derp, you don't want to battle. But they do want to battle. I wasn't expecting this. Um, actually, no, okay, this will work. Surf, be super effective on both. I would go with Earthquake, but I don't want to hit Heracross, and we will... Uh, I'm going to heal up Heracross, because I'm not fully confident with him at the moment. And, okay, so let's hope Surf... I don't think Surf will Oko either one. Wow, that didn't do nearly as much as I thought it would. Uh, thrash, okay. Now let's seismic toss on Nita Queen because Nita Queen's a little more bulky, so we could use the extra damage on her. And after another surf, oh, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I was sitting there thinking, oh my god, he's so gonna die. And then, but in my heart, I was like, you know what? No, I, I think he can do it. I think he can take it. And yeah, no, he. He couldn't take the poison touch. He didn't have it in him. To, did I just? I used Nitto King's turn on that. Ah, that's so stupid. <laughs> Whatever. Let's kill the Nitto Queen and maybe next time not be an entire moron. Maybe the Nitto King will hit himself. That'll be nice. No. Okay. Go freaking hit Sipper, you little meanie pants guy. Wow, rude. Now you're gonna just get overkilled. I hope you're happy. Never mind. You're not gonna get overkilled. You're just gonna die. Okay. Um, I don't think the exit's right here, so I don't think we need to use an antidote. This guy teaches you double edge if you're interested. I am not. <gasps> and we've made it the Pokemon League on Route 23. And let's go. Uh, I'm, I'm getting really nervous with this. And I'm getting a phone call, so one second. Wow, okay, apparently I'm not supposed to be, like, recording right now because I keep getting interrupted, but, um... A 77 HP, we can make it just fine. Up to the Pokemon League. Indigo Plateau, which we cannot actually catch a Pokemon here, which is rather unfortunate, but out of curiosity, um, I'm not going to obviously take on the Pokemon League right now, but I'm a little curious as like what they will say. So just in case they're accidentally like, oh, hey, go on in. I'm going to save beforehand. So at yeah, 22 hours of game time, keep in mind that is sped up a lot, but um, still. So what's up, girl? I'm so sorry, but you've wasted your time coming here. Warrior only of the Wave 4 doesn't. It's absent, you see. As a result, the Pokemon Leap is closed for timing. Wow, one bitch holds it up for everybody. So rude. Anyways, um, off screen, I'll go get the four Pokemon I need to reach 60. And then we will be continuing our adventures to the Sevi Islands. So, actually, we might. I don't know if we'll do some grinding, because I don't know what level the um, 4 through 7 Sevi Islands are. I'll have to look into that, but. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Until next... Oh, last time I asked you guys for like 323 likes or something. And last... I just checked before I recorded this. And there was like 549. So I was like, what? You guys just blow my mind. But um, how about this time? Let's aim for... Not going to go that high. Because I think that was just kind of like a fluke in likes. Let's go for 407 likes. I think we can do that. We made it through Victory Road. Everyone survived, surprisingly. I really expected someone to die. But until next time, guys, thank you for watching. I'm Artie Tegoyo. Peace.